Hello, Phoebe. Cast listeners. Hey. Hello, Phoebe. What episode are we up to now? Nine. Yeah, nice one. Ooh, We're almost nine. in the double digits, Caitlin. Going strong. Going strong. I'm going to flex. Can you feel it through the podcast? You look <sighs> buff. I'm Caitlin. I'm Phoebe. And what are we talking about? Hoop challenges. Oh, Go. Okay. Let's do it. So what's a hoop challenge? Hoop challenge. I've only really seen hoop challenges done on Instagram. Yeah, it must be an Instagram thing. Is it an Instagram thing? Could be a just general social media thing, but maybe I just don't look at enough stuff. Yeah, I'm not on Facebook much. So anyway, let's talk about them. Have you done any hoop challenges? I don't think I've participated in any. I'm following one of yours at the moment, but I'm not actually posting anything. I'm just doing them privately. (laughs) I'm running a hula hoop challenge right now. It's probably going to be very well finished by the time that this podcast is published because it only goes for 14 days. Yeah. But how does it work? You got to – my well, my challenge is a fitness challenge, a hula hoop fitness challenge, and I specifically do it because I want to focus on getting fit. So I run them. And, and then- you very smartly seem to run them around Christmas <laughs> where everyone's like, ah, oh, I need to eat so many mince pies. This is why I run them because I want to I want to do them for myself. And then I'm like, well, maybe I'll just run a challenge and everyone can participate along with me. That's nice. It, it keeps me accountable. So- <laughs> oh, yeah, you've, you've got the accountability people being like, did you do it? Because you have to. Yeah, I have to post every day. So here's how it works. Um, for my challenge, uh, it's a 14-day challenge. You have to hula hoop for 30 minutes for 14 days. You have to post a video. And if you do that, I draw a prize at the end. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they often have prizes so you can get some swag at the end of it. What, what kind of stuff can you usually win? Like hula hoops? Yeah. I think I think you can win like sponsorships. Really? Maybe. Oh, do people do it for sponsorships? I maybe don't not. Know. You can probably like, I guess it depends who's hosting the challenge. Yeah, totally. Because maybe you just get like mad shout outs at the end of it and then, you know, you have a party and you, you meet a lot of people. Get the get the, the joy of participation. You get the glory. It'd be good if you got a participation award. Oh, like, a certificate. Like we were in, like we were in primary school. Get you your know. email a PDF. That would be so wonderful. Congratulations for participating. <laughs> How did I not think of that? <laughs> well, you know, now you're beholden. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not going to do that. But uh, it would be delightful. Yeah. So often you can win stuff. Sometimes they say that at the beginning of the challenge, like you can win a blah, and it might be something really big. It might be like a freaking whole fancy hula hoop. It might not be, but. No, you, it usually is. You usually win a <gasps> win a hula hoop. <gasps> I'm I'm giving away um hooper apparel, nice. a, t- a t shirt, um a hula hoop. Uh that's all I'm giving away. Yeah, but there's still a, it's a good a really price. Good, it's a good hula hoop. <laughs> it's, it's a really it's a nice, nice one. one. <laughs> it's rainbow. <laughs> cool. So prizes, um, they usually go for a certain amount of time, mm-hmm. but it varies wildly. Sometimes just goes for five days. Uh, sometimes you know you've got fourteen, but some other ones that I see go for a month. And they've got like a little calendar, so they've planned it out all beforehand for an entire month. And then they've got what the prompt is for the challenge on each little day on the calendar square. That's cool. And I thought that was cute because I'm very like, – You want to know what's coming. I'm down the line. I'm very organized and I want to know and I want it on the little <laughs> calendar and I want to stick it in my diary <laughs> with a purple the glue stick. You I mean, I would if I did the challenges. Oh, yeah. That's- <laughs> mm. <laughs> but like I, I've seen it. And I respect it. And I got really excited about the calendar specifically, but still didn't do a challenge. Ah, well, because they always make you do the videos and sometimes it's just too much video well, sometimes, requirement for me. Okay, so people participate in challenges, in hula hoop um, challenges online for various reasons. For example, me, I participate in my own challenges because of fitness and accountability. Other people like the challenge of trying different things every day. Yeah, I need those ones uh, because I I get very stuck in my ways. So seeing what people are doing. Yeah, so some like maybe Monday might be work on your isolations. Tuesday might be hula hoop on body. Wednesday or like opposite direction challenge. Like try and balance a hula hoop on your on your head. I don't know. That's not my challenge. I wouldn't. I'm not very good at balancing anything. Maybe it's gonna be a challenge. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow then we'll do balance. <laughs> Just you watch. Oh, the power! Like I feel like when they do ones that have tricks that I've never learned and I've never even heard of, and they just pop up on my feed, I'm like, oh, cool. That's nice for me. <laughs> So you're just something new to look at. Just inspired, just yeah. inspiration daily. Yeah, and because everyone, because everyone's doing them right, other people do different things to them. Like they might add stuff onto it, or they might have a different perspective, and they'll, you know, they'll comment as well. Yeah, and I can read it. I, <laughs> oh, I'm already you're like creeping from the 
from the sidelines, just yeah. reading everybody's I just, I stuff. Just, you know, Such that's my that's my way of engaging. Is I just read the stuff. Just a little bit of a creep. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so how do you, how do you participate in challenges? Usually, oh, they they have hosts. Okay, so yeah, usually the people that are creating the challenges will announce that they're going to create a challenge. Give you some time to prepare. I, I don't. <laughs> Seriously, I just decided I'm going to – I need to get fit. I'm coming in with the challenges. I'm starting now. Right now. Here's day one. <laughs> Join it's me. day one right now. That's exactly what I do. People that are more organized actually plan in advance. Sometimes they'll collaborate with a number of different hosts. It could be um, – Oh, yeah. It could be one one person or it could be multiple and you have to go and um, do certain things to participate. So it usually means opting in. So you might need to go and post that you are participating on their initial post. I like that. Uh, you might need to go and follow certain um, hosts or certain companies if they're sponsoring. And then you usually have to use their hashtag and complete the challenge. So that days. everyone can see it. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And follow along. I find that really nice because it means that sometimes I'll find someone new to follow mm. that I didn't know before because they're – part of the challenge they might be one of the co-hosts or they might be one of the people who's put the hashtag on their submission and they're like this is my one I'm like whoa you're cool oh i like you yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna creep on you now look i comment i'm nice to people i just don't make very many videos that's fine yeah. but the videos you do make are quality well thanks yeah Appreciate right. that. Enjoy. Oh, Enjoy. well, we got one person watching. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else you got to say about challenges? Mm, I feel like we covered a lot of it. <laughs> it's a really like meaty a topic. Okay, so uh, I just really wanted to talk about because I think it's nifty. Yeah, it, it is a really good way to um, increase your engagement with the community and get involved. Yeah, get inspired, get some accountability, um, interact with other people is really the main thing. Usually, you'll find that uh, if you're participating in the challenge and using the hashtag, you can go then go and see all the people that are joining along with you. Mm. Go and support them. Go and like their videos. See what kind of things they're getting up to with their daily videos. Throw down yeah. some sparkle emojis. That's my thing. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this. Phoebe's, Phoebe's I like go to, to put a triple sparkle emoji. <laughs> The old, not even just one sparkle. Triple sparkle, triple sparkle emoji. And I believe that there's more than one sparkle in the sparkle emoji. Yeah, there so are a triplicate like, triple sparkle. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like sparkle sparkle squared. Mm, Tripled, cubed. cubed, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag maths. Hashtag mathesis. <laughs> not my strong point. You know what I mean? I do. Um, my go-to emoji is triple emoji of anything. <laughs> so be, as long as there's three. Yeah, love heart, love heart, love heart. It's more enthusiastic. I think so. It's an increase in enthusiasm every subsequent emoji that you put. That's how I talk to people on Instagram. I just want to know. I want them to know that I thought it was shiny. <laughs> what they did. Now, you sparkled. Yeah, sparkled in my life and on my little phone screen. Now I know. Yeah. Um, we have got a mini one-time micro segment. Um, and this will probably only ever happen once. No, it won't. It might be, it's you know, we might add things to it, but um, it is called, Phoebe says, don't hoop near this. Don't hoop near this. So here's a very quick <laughs> list of things that you shouldn't hoop near. One, lamps. Lamps are out. Candles, don't do it. Lit candles, especially. Like an unlit candle, maybe it's fine. Uh, bowls of food, <laughs> plates of food. Food in general, liquids, right out. <laughs> Can't have a cup of tea, especially not iced tea. Just the taller glasses, even worse. Um, don't hoop near pets that don't understand. Don't hoop near uh, humans where their head is at hoop height. AKA toddlers. Uh, and they are kind of oblivious to what's going on. <laughs> I think that's- This is a good segment. So far, it's the exhaustive what else? list. What else um, should you not hoop near? Mm. Traffic. Should oh, be- yeah. <laughs> Traffic, train lines. <laughs> I know Kristen McQuillan, she used to choreograph the World Hoop Day dances. I think she lost a hoop on train tracks one time. Mm. Like it went over her balcony, the hoop fell onto the train tracks and just, nope. Devo. Don't do that. Devastated. So that has been, don't hoop near this. Well, don't finish it there. If you- You got more? No, I'm just going to put it out to the people. Ooh. Got any suggestions of what you shouldn't hoop near, what you may have hooped near and regretted. regretted. <laughs> <laughs> Instant regret. Regretted later or instantly. Nice. Let us know. The micro segment will turn into a macro segment. I really hope so. I want this to be a long running feature because it's important. It's the most valuable information we've given so far. <laughs> out of everything in nine episodes. 
<laughs> Don't hoop near this is the most crucial. So email us info at spinjoy.com.au with your don't hoop near this or I did hoop near this. And it was a mistake. mistake. Very cool. Is that going to take us into the hot hoop tracks? That was a quick segment. Yeah. It's a, I said micro segment. No, is this, but is this whole podcast going to be like five minutes? Yeah. Okay. Um, hot hoop track. Well, zoomy one. So Sarah has a pretty great hot hoop track. What is it? Lay it on me. It's called The Man. I haven't heard it. Who's it by? The Killers. It's on their new album, so it is very oh, current. I will listen to it, and I am very sure I will enjoy it. Did you play it for me, or did you just play yours? I think you played yours to me. I just played mine. Yeah, because yeah, what is yours? It is Believer by Major Lazer and Show Tech. I, I liked it. It's, as soon as it started, I said, oh, that's dramatic. It is. It's <laughs> fabulous. I think those were my exact words. <laughs> oh, that's dramatic. Um, mine is called Sassaparilla. By Mookie. You might want to spell that. Sassaparilla. S-A-S-S-A-P-A-R-I-L-L-A. I'm not sure if that's correct. The text is very small and I'm turning to the side. That is right. But I like it because whenever she says Sassaparilla, she goes, Sassaparilla. And I love it. What's Sassaparilla mean? Well, I feel like like Sassaparilla is a type of drink, right? It's not a root-based beverage. But then Sassaparilla is maybe you're giving them sass. While drinking. I actually didn't listen to the lyrics very much. Okay. We'll find out. (laughs) Anyway, this has been fun. Let's leave. Bye.